Hello, it's Brick Bros UK and we have the LEGO Star Wars Rebel Trooper Battle Pack 75164, which follows on nicely from the other 2017 Rogue One Battle Pack, the Imperial Trooper one, which we reviewed recently. It's also the usual Battle Pack price of £11.99, $12.99 and €14.99. And the box graphic looks action packed with the rebel troopers on a speeder with a trench section fighting in the ruins of Jeddah. Then if we turn to the back of the box it shows you an image of how the play features work. So now let's move on and get this set built. And here it is, now it took us 8 minutes to build and the set consists of 120 pieces which make up the battle packs 2 builds, the trench section on the left that features a multi-directional laser cannon and there's the speeder bike on the right. And we think it's great for play to get 2 good looking builds in a battle pack for once. You also get 4 rebel troopers who all have their own individual looks which will please army builders and like the imperial trooper battle pack there's no officers but sadly they all have stud shooters. But without stalling any longer, let's start by checking out all of these troopers. So first up is one of the bearded troopers, who has these dark grey legs with tan hilt, which have some good detail printing on them. He also has a tan torso with this nice dark grey combat jacket printed on with belt, and he's one of our favourite looking troopers from the pack, because he has this cool dark grey hoff helmet with white goggles. He's also armed with this stud shooter, then around the back you can see his combat jacket strap printing on the torso, which is a nice touch. And underneath his helmet he has that single faced black bearded head, which was on the pilot in the Resistance X-Wing Fighter Microfighter set, so it's great a rebel trooper has it now, and overall we love this trooper's unique look. Moving on, this trooper might seem familiar because he's nearly identical to the Rebel Trooper in the ATST Walker set. However, his legs are different and aren't brown, but instead a dark grey with pouches printed on. And to be honest, we feel they go well with his dark grey torso, which has the nice combat jacket printed on with tan arms. He also gets one of those new dark orange Rebel helmets with gunmetal bands, and like the others, comes armed with a stud shooter. Then at the back, there's a little more printing on the torso. And if we remove his helmet he has the darker skin tone stern single faced head the same as the ATST sets rebel trooper and we're glad they've added some diversity to the set with this cool looking trooper. Following on the next rebel minifigure has the same dark grey printed legs as the last trooper and the same helmet but his brown torso is new and has a nice jacket printed on with grey scarf and green satchel and you might have noticed his arms are reddish brown which is a different colour shade to the torso. He also comes armed with a stud shooter except this one has an extended grip piece which is a good touch and at the back the green satchel printing continues on the torso. Then underneath his helmet he has this single faced normal expression head which is commonly found on rebel and resistance troopers. So overall this rebel minifigure has the same helmet and legs as the last trooper but his brown torso is really detailed and we thought it could be useful for maybe a custom Cassian Andor. And the final rebel trooper is another bearded guy and he's got these unique printed brown legs with printed jacket on his tan torso that has brown arms giving him a good look. He also has a dark tan hoff helmet with white goggles and just like the last trooper his stud shooter also has an extra grip. Then coming round to his back his torso has extra strap printing adding to his uniform. Now we really like his single faced orange bearded head and we have a feeling it was in the UCS hoff set so it's great it's in a cheaper set now. So overall it's great to get another completely different rebel trooper for your army especially one that's got a cool beard. Moving on we have the trench section build which is a simple creation with dark tan bricks making a defensive wall with the extra dark grey bar pieces and a dark green grill piece adding detail at the front. There's also the multi-directional laser cannon perched on top that has a long black barrel and hand grip with stud shooter on top for play and it looks the business. It's also clipped to this Technic connection so it can move all around for play which is great for aim when you need to defend the trench. Then coming round to the back is a round grey plate where the gunner sits and a bar piece with grill detail as a sort of backrest. And this is where you can clip in the gunner's stud shooter when he doesn't need it which is handy. So now you can clip in a gunner and defend the position from the Imperials with the stud shooter. And overall this trench laser cannon position is a simple build but it looks good plus it works in play which is all we want from a battle pack build. Next we have the dark green speeder bike and for a battle pack creation it's got a good shape to it with detail. 
So starting at the front he's got these two clipped on movable grey plates with dark green slope pieces to make front forks on the speeder's rods. The speeder also has black grill engine vents either side of the cockpit with a dark green slope brick and grill piece giving it a sleek front with clear piece for a windscreen. And on either side it has more slope bricks creating its body and we like this finish. Then for the driver he gets a dark tan seat with two movable joysticks which he can hold on to. And at the back there's a dark green slope brick finishing the speeder's look with red lights for the engine thrusters and there's also two clips for his stud shooter or extra accessories. Then underneath the vehicle's got a flat plate so you can push it around for play. And lastly you can clip in the driver ready to speed off. So overall we like the dark green colour of the Rebel speeder bike and it's been designed so well it wouldn't look out of place in a larger set. So for a battle pack build it's awesome. And now when you put it all together the Rebels can defend the trench against the Imperials. On a final note the Lego Star Wars Rebel Trooper Battle Pack is probably one of the best all round battle packs we've ever got. So we decided to give it a brick rating of 5 out of 5 bricks because it's rare to get two builds in a battle pack and the speeder looks accurate to something you might see in the movies. But the trench with laser cannon also would look okay in a mock and for play they both function well with the speeder's sliding ability and cannon's stud shooter. We also think it's great to get four different looking rebel troopers because you normally get at least two the same in battle packs. And to be able to get two of those new orange helmets cheaply is great and it's just the stud shooters that let down the set, just like most battle packs. So overall if you can get it we'd recommend this set because it would be a nice addition to your rebel forces. Hope you enjoyed a Brick Bros UK Lego review and don't forget to check out our channel for more reviews and like, comment and subscribe to Brick Bros UK.